Hey guys, it's Oluviz, and today I'm going to be talking about the new update that's come to Mario Maker 2. So, uh, yeah, let's get into what they added. So, first of all, let's start off with the basic stuff. They added an uh, ice coin, so basically it's a coin encased in ice, and uh, fire items will destroy it, and you'll get yourself a coin. So, yeah, pretty simple. Okay, so yeah, they added the Pokey, which is this guy that's like, he's like this spiky guy that's like stacked on top of more spiky little balls. And of course, you can knock him down and get him shorter or like, you know, jump on top of his head to just finish him off quickly. And so next, they also added the P block, which is basically invisible blocks that appear when you hit a P switch. It's not, you know, nothing too crazy. It's pretty straightforward. And they also added dash blocks for the Super Mario 3D World which basically makes you dash really fast, like faster than normal. It automatically activates when you step on it. And they also added this new mode called the, the Ninji Speedrun mode. First you play the level, a Nintendo made level, and then you play it again and try to race against the ghosts of other players. And you have to try to get, you know, the fastest run on the level. So once you beat the level, you'll be compared to everyone else and see what place you are in and how fast you beat it. Next they added this guy who's just named Spike and all he does is he takes out a spike ball and he spits it out and it just goes forward like it flies forward at you. Um, it flies like a little above the ground and, and also if you're in an ice level then he spits out a snowball instead and you can jump on the snowball and you can push it as well so keep that in mind. And lastly the biggest thing, the biggest thing that they added which is actually really cool and honestly like it stole the spotlight from the rest of the updates but they added link to the game now it isn't remember in mario maker one where they had a link costume a me costume no it's not that it's not a link me costume they added link himself to the game so basically how it works is you pick up the master sword and it acts as a power up you can select it by going over the mushroom and so when you select it you become Link himself, and uh, he could do a lot of things actually. So he can jump, of course, as any Mario character should be. He can he can uh, shoot arrows. He can also angle his shots. He can also the arrows can also be used to grab coins and items, and hit switches and stuff like that, and kill enemies. He can also throw bombs, which of course bombs can be used to blow up blocks. And um, so he can pick it up, he can throw them. And he can knock his bombs out of the way with his arrows. He also has a dash attack where he dashes and he sticks his sword out. And um, of course he has his regular sword stab kind of technique. Kind of like the original Zelda where it's not a slash but he just stabs forward. And he can, when you, cr when you press crouch, when you press down, he can shield block. So basically he can block any projectiles that come in such as the spike's ball. If, he shoot, if the spike shoots the ball, he can just deflect it by holding down. So yeah, this adds a completely new and unique moveset to Mario Maker 2. And of course, many different levels are gonna be designed around that. So, but just remember, it acts as a power-up. So if you get hit, you're gonna lose it. So make sure, you know, you survive. But you should be able to do it because of how much ways you can attack, you know? However, one thing to take note of is that you can only use Link in the original Super Mario Brothers form. You can't use it in Super Mario Brothers 3 or Mario World or in um or in New Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, you can only use it in the original. Of course, you can't use it in 3D World. Only in the original. So keep that in mind when you're des designing your level. So yeah, that was all they added. But uh, I'd say this is a pretty good update. Of course, it isn't. They haven't added as much characters as Super Mario Maker 1. But of course, in that game, it was only skins. So. I mean, in this game, they actually created a new moveset for him, and I hope that they keep adding different Nintendo characters, and that they keep adding movesets to the game, and people can create more interesting levels. And of course, I, I hope they keep adding different mechanics and different enemies to the game. So with that out of the way, that's been what's been added to Super Mario Maker 2. And also, I, I've created two levels using these new uh, mechanics. Nothing too crazy, but they should be pretty easy. So, yep, here are the codes. Okay, I hope you enjoy those levels, and I uh, hope you enjoy all the new stuff they added in uh, version 2.0. 
That was it for this video. See you next time.